just look at that face. That is a gamer moment for sure. Let me ask you, how many times have you had a gamer moment trying to play this game that is Hunt Showdown? And if you clicked on this video and you don't know what this game is, leave. Never come back. Now, as a real gamer that lives in the moment, I would be lying to you if I said I haven't had my fair share. Thus, the point of this video. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I'm a godsend. <laughs> But playing now at just over 800 hours, I've got some tips and tricks up my sleeve that has helped me and hopefully will help you too. Oh, and by the way, if any of these tips seem helpful and you can benefit from them, be sure to like the video and subscribe if you want more tips in the future. Starting off with number one, pick a loadout that you're comfortable with. Notice how I didn't say pick a loadout with high damage or pick a loadout because your favorite YouTuber runs it and he or she is good with it. Assemble a loadout that you are comfortable attacking and defending with. That is key that balance is key as a solo hunter for instance i love the veterly silenced and cav saber as my primary go-to solo loadout but as many of you are aware the muzzle velocity on that thing can be a pain in the ass to learn so a lot of you aren't comfortable with it just like how i wouldn't run the berthier solo Many of you disagree, and that's great. One thing I have found, not only just playing the game for so long now, but also making content for other people to watch and judge, is that everybody has their own opinion about every single gun in the game. It's one of the things that I love about Hunt. The stats that go into each weapon, like damage, muzzle velocity, handling, are all things that play a key part in you forming your own opinion, whether if you like to run that gun or not. So work and experiment with different loadout possibilities from the primary to the secondary to the consumables and tools and find something that works for you in your play style. If you're looking for recommendations, then I suggest you watch the video in the top right going over my personal favorite solo loadout, which I talked about a little bit earlier, but finding something that you are comfortable with is much more important than how much damage it does. Moving on to number two, we're gonna be talking about positioning. Now, positioning, you know, this is, it can take a bit to learn, and honestly, I could make a whole other video on this topic, but it's a pretty advanced tip due to, you know, having to have to have map knowledge, but there's some easy things that you can implement in your matches as a solo, either if you're new, whether if you've been playing for a while, that makes it easier to learn and help you throughout your matches. As a general rule, as a solo playing this game, I never wanna let the enemy have control of a fight. Now, how do you gain control of a fight? Well, it depends on your positioning in the battle. I want you to imagine that you are this dot, and these dots are a duo that you are fighting. The cones represent your field of view of the enemy. When one of the enemies move to a new spot or out of your line of sight, chances are it's time to reposition and get them or their general area back into your cone of view. What I'm trying to get at here is having enemy awareness, moving according to the relevancy of the enemy's position that leverages you in a favorable position. Now, of course, placing traps, having a melee or a shotgun primary, having map knowledge of where to reposition will all influence what your results will be. But the general principle remains the same. Be aware of your enemy at all times and move spots after shots. Again, it's going to take time to learn these things, so just keep training and make it a mission to learn at least one or two compounds at a time during a match. The third on this list is pay attention to audio. Come on, man. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Audio is your number one asset as a solo hunter. It will make or break your gunfight. And I'm not talking about the obvious crows and, and horses either. Obviously, don't trigger them and pay attention to when they are triggered by other hunters. But I'm talking about about the details man the details you know what's their approximate location what are they running on how many hunters are there what size shoe do they wear what do they eat for breakfast I want you to figure all this out just from listening this will give you a good idea whether you should be aggressive sneak and where to position additionally you want to learn what gun makes what sounds I would hope that you guys would approach a compound differently if you heard this versus this let me know in the comments if you know what guns those were. I'll pin the first comment that gets it right. 
Something that I recommend you do is go to your arsenal in game, pick a gun, any gun, preferably one that you either just died to or one that you see a lot in game and listen to it being shot off at different distances. Then in your next match, make a little game out of it. See if you can identify what gun is being shot off or if you can identify the gun that you just listened to in the arsenal before the match. Soon enough, with just doing one gun at a time, you will soon learn who has what gun and where they are and how you should approach with your given loadout. Again, like I mentioned earlier, you need to be comfortable with your loadout and know it inside and out. Now, when you take everything that we just talked about, put it all together, I'm not gonna lie, you're gonna make a good solo hunter, which then leads us on to number four, and possibly the hardest on this list, but what will increase your MMR the most, and that is knowing that it's okay to walk away. How, how anticlimactic. <laughs> I know everybody wants to be the clutch king of their group, right? Win the fights, get the girls, get the money, get the fame, and everything that comes with it. At least that's how it feels, right? But listen, you can't win them all. And when you continue to press on in a fight that is not in your favor as a solo, chances are you're going to lose. Mentally, I want you to always stay in the fight, okay? Always stay in the fight mentally. But when you are in a bad position, getting flustered, panicked, and outnumbered, the best thing for you to do is run away. Just run away and try a different angle of attack. Rethink it. The key here is that you want to remain calm during a fight. So if you find that you just aren't landing your shots, or you're getting pushed really hard, or you're not in a position that favors you, run. Get away where you're safe, rethink your angle of attack. I guarantee you this will save you guys from death. It will save your MMR and potentially help it by helping you get more kills later throughout the match. These, in my opinion, are the four foundations any solo hunter practices in every match. There's one more that I wanted to include and that was aiming, but I had so much that I wanted to say on it that I just decided to make its own separate video. So subscribe to the channel if you're looking forward to that. If you wanna see that video, I've got other hunt videos to help you in your game on the channel there so be sure to check that out if any of these tips helped you let me know in the comments down below or just leave a like on the video that's all i got for you today appreciate you watching and i'll see you in the next one peace